Hello friends, welcome to the study of English. In this video, you will learn about the play, An Old Man Remembers, by Temsula Ao, with summary and question answers. Before going to summary, take an idea about the play. The play describes, the struggle and fighting of Naga people against the government, for their assertion of identity and dignity. An Old Man Remembers, is used to refer Sasi, an old man, and the main character of the play. The play is based on memory. The writer discussed the past of Sasi and his friend Imli Kokwa, who joined the Nagar underground movement at the young age. The play describes the two world, darkness and horror, where people like Sasi and his friend lived, and the world where we live. Now see the summary of the play. The play begins with Sasi, an old man, sitting by the floor of a fireplace. He has a pain in his right leg. Early in the morning he hears the news of his friend Imli Kokwa's death from his neighbor. He reached there and joined the funeral, though he was suffering from unbearable pain in his body. One day, when his grandson asked him about his and Imli's past, whether they had killed many people when they were in jungle, he ignored the question. He didn't want to tell his past to the young boy, because his past is miserable, dark, and filled with horror. But next time, he tells his past life to his grandson. Sasi narrates his past that, how their youth was snatched away from them. Instead of carrying school books, he and other school boys were carrying guns, and other weapons of destruction and living in the jungle, like, wild creatures. One day, when he and Sasi were in school, suddenly they are compelled to run, due to an attack by the military, which caught the people unawares. The students are forced to disperse into the forest, in order to save themselves from being, the target of the military. They had no way of determining the reason of that action. Moving deep into the forest, Sasi and Imli find themselves in the midst of those who run, the Naga underground movement. Sasi and Imli become a part of that gang. Sasi's knowledge of the underground world, and the contest of the worldviews emerge, in a new light when he sees the life he left behind with fresh eyes. The harshness of life, and the uncertainty, that surrounds them during the underground days, provide an altogether different angle to the identity question. He was badly injured when he was hit by a bullet. That injury made him walk with a limp, and pain in his body. Sasi and Imli surrendered to the government, and spent some time in jail, because they had taken up arms against the government and had to pay the price. The sight of his grandson makes him realize the significance of innocence. For him, the life has been a lost innocence. Now look at the question answers. Who is Sasi? Answer is, an old man, and the main character of the play. What is the real name of Sasi? Answer is, Imti Sashi. Who is Molamba? Answer is, Sasi's grandson. Who is Imli Kokwa? Answer is, Sasi's friend. Sasi had an injury in which leg? Answer is, right leg. How did Sasi and Imli become a member of Naga underground movement? Or why did Sasi and Imli become a rebel against the government? Answer is, when Sasi and Imli were young, their youth was snatched away from them. One day, when they were in school, suddenly they were compelled to run due to an attack by the military. The students were forced to disperse into the forest in order to save themselves from being the target of the military. The students had no way of determining the reason. Instead of school books, they had to carry guns and other weapons of destruction, and living in the jungle like wild creatures. They struggled for assertion of identity and dignity of the Naga people. Why didn't Sasi want to tell his past to his grandson? Answer is, because his past is filled with circumstances of darkness and horror, he killed many people when he was a member of Naga underground movement. Sasi don't want to have a bad effect on his grandson by telling his past. At what age Sasi and Imli become rebellion? Answer is, they were not yet 16th when they become ruthless killers. Describe the last mission of Sasi and Imli which caused Sasi's leg injured. Answer is, it was an important mission, and except for the cook the entire group was involved. They were to attack a convoy, which was supposed to include some of the interim Naga leaders, who were negotiating permanent settlement within the framework of the Constitution of India. 
the underground leaders considered this move as a betrayal of the Naga people. They tried to attack but failed. Imli and Sasi began to run into the jungle but before they could reach, a bullet hit Sasi and he went down in a heap. How did Sasi escape from the Naga underground rebellion group? Answer is, after he was hit by a bullet, he surrendered to the government, and after jailed he was living in his village. How did Sasi feel after he heard his friend Imli's death? Answer is, after hearing his friend Imli's death from his neighbor, Sasi felt as if a vital core of his own being had been wrenched off.